Hi Libra, welcome to your June horoscope reading. So this is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, or if you just felt called to click on this video, there may be some messages here for you. Keep in mind that these are general readings, not everything's going to apply to everyone, so just take the messages that resonate with you and leave the rest here. If it doesn't resonate right away, it might resonate more so at the end of the month, so you can always go back and re-watch the video at that point to see how this energy actually played out on the physical planes. So we're going to do the regular monthly spread with the overall energy, the obstacle and opportunity, the insight and guidance, and the potential outcome. So let's see what's going on in June for you, Libra. Okay, what is the overall energy for Libra in June? The Eight of Pentacles in reverse. What is the obstacle and opportunity this month? Ooh. Ooh, the devil. Libras, what is going on? What is the insight and guidance? Well, at least your cards are popping quickly. Queen of Wands. And what is the potential outcome? The Sun card. Okay, well, that's nice. I feel this card wants to come out as well. Oh, yeah. Seven of uh, Swords in reverse. Okay, so Libra, what do we got going on here? The overall energy is the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So maybe you're having a really hard time focusing this month. Um, there's a lot of activity going on astrologically, you know, Mercury's in retrograde for the bulk of this month. Um, we've got Saturn that just went retrograde in May. This is also eclipse season, so it's a lot of faded, a lot of karmic stuff coming up to be cleared, a lot of shakeups, um, things kind of seeming like they're out of your control. So you might be feeling a little bit ungrounded and therefore it, it can be really hard to focus the obstacle and, and uh, opportunity here is the devil card so I always look at obstacles as opportunities for growth and this one is a big opportunity because the devil card is where we misplace our power or give away our power it's also kind of seductive distractions as well right like things that we know aren't good for us but we do them anyway because they feel good or because they help us to cope with something that's hard or whatever the case is the devil card is it's you know inherently disempowering its energy asks us to give up our own you know what's best for us and, and our own power to to get something in return so we, we have to end up like sacrificing so this is something to watch out for this month if you're feeling unable to focus and you feel ungrounded and then you find yourself kind of trying to cope with like food or drugs or alcohol or sex or just like habits and things that you know aren't good for you or you know just distractions or like even it can even be like so simple as negative thinking you know like you're just kind of going around in your head instead of being able to get anything done physically you're kind of like beating yourself up for not being as productive as you'd like to be that kind of thing not getting as much work done as you'd hoped you would give yourself a little bit of a break here libra because there's a lot going on this month energetically and mercury retrograde isn't necessarily the best time to be starting something brand new it is a good it is a good time though to go over things that have been done in the past and reassess and review them so this eight of Pentacles could be a good opportunity for you to kind of look back at your past work and see if there's anything that you'd like to kind of readjust or revamp or redo or reassess or whatever it is. You know, that's the that's the retrograde RE, you know, it's re everything. Redo it, review it, all of that stuff. So the insight and guidance you have this month is the Queen of Wands. This is actually beautiful. I feel like you you will be getting that productivity that motivation that inspiration that creativity back if you've lost it or if it's been kind of subverted by some of this more draining disempowering negative energy you're going to get it back there will be growth because look at this look at this libra you've got the the sunflower in the queen of wands and then you've got the sun card as well so there's going to be growth there's going to be new opportunities there's going to be clarity enlightenment freedom innocence 
um, expression and like positive sexuality if that's something that you're looking for um, <laughs> little side note here if you're not looking to get pregnant use protection because these two cards together kind of speak to me of like let's have some sexy time and then oops there's a baby so <laughs> it's just you know you do you Libra but I mean it's there so I'll say it uh, yeah, so I feel like there's going to be a lot of opportunity for growth for you. So if in the beginning of the month you feel stuck, held back, distracted, if you feel a little bit like disempowered in your ability to put in work and get results back, don't worry about it so much. It's going to ease up as the month goes on, as Mercury retrograde starts to, you know, uh, come to a close towards the end of the month. I believe it's around June 22nd is when it stations direct There will still be a shadow a shadow phase after that, but uh, it'll be less impactful hopefully than than the actual retrograde now the Sun card in the potential outcome Again, this is beautiful. The potential outcome is new clarity new growth a new perspective on things um, seeing things really clearly you know where maybe you didn't see them clearly before and this is what's going to allow you to have this new level of growth moving forward so all of these restrictive cycles these karmic patterns these these things that aren't good for you they're actually there for a reason right it's so that you can learn and step into your power it's so that you can understand these patterns you know that's why they're patterns they, they happen repetitively so that we can begin to identify that cycle so we can understand that there's something here that needs to be addressed if it keeps repeating it's something that needs to be addressed from within so this is where doing some shadow work some internal work you know some looking at those triggers looking at those patterns that can be really helpful and that's where that clarity and that growth is going to come in and it's going to be an opportunity to let go of some kind of self-deception some internalized you know disempowerment here that's what i'm feeling a lot it's not so much that the structures outside of you are disempowering although that could be a reflection of the disempowerment that's happening on the inside right because everything's a mirror so you want to keep an eye on what's going on inside you pay attention to your triggers pay attention to any patterns that you find yourself repeating in relationships with food with alcohol with your thoughts whatever it is pay attention to patterns because they are telling you something and when you bring that to your awareness guess what you have the power to do something to change it it's only through consciousness that we can begin to alter these patterns so let's see what additional guidance or messages want to come through from the oracle decks to support some of these tarot messages Oh, I also recommend that you guys check out your other sign videos as well. So if this is your sun sign, go check out your moon and rising to get a, a more holistic idea of the energy that's affecting you in uh, June. Sometimes you'll resonate more with your rising sign or your moon sign. It really just depends, but uh, it's good to have an idea of all of them. Okay, so Libra, what additional information would like to come through for Libra? Okay, we got a lot of, <laughs> I just felt like I had to keep going, so I did, but we've now got a lot of cards here. Oh, I'm not surprised to see this one actually. Storm Wisdom, Angel, Raziel, and Pietrosite. So Storm Wisdom is about kind of going through hard times or disempowering circumstances so that you can gain the wisdom from that difficulty or from that challenging experience. So again, it's like, this could be even like losing your job or you know going through something challenging with your health or going through um, a breakup or something that really kind of leaves you unsure about what you're doing with your life some some kind of disruption is there and I feel like this is not something new to you. This isn't something that's just going to happen in June, although it's something that's been building for a while. So if this resonates, you'll have some idea what I'm talking about here. Maybe not the full scope of it, but again, that's where that sun card is going to come in and the potential outcome. You'll gain more clarity as the month goes along and going into July. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Purification. 
Yeah, so purifying. You're purifying um, any of those disempowering negative energies that have been holding you back and keeping you from expressing your highest um, empowered <laughs> self. Uh, you know, that's that Queen of Wands energy, even though it's not, you know, this is technically fire sign energy. Any, any person can step into this archetype, which is a powerful boss ass bitch. The queen of wands is a boss lady. You know, she takes care of her shit. She handles her business. She, she fosters growth for herself and others. She's protective. She's inspired. She's creative. She's self-expressed. She has an eye on the future, but she's in the present moment. She trusts her intuition and her guidance. She knows that she's protected and that she's powerful. This is you, not this devil card. You're not this little you know, you're not this little being here stuck by these chains. You can take those off at any time and get moving. It's just a matter of actually having to go through the process of understanding where you've been limiting yourself so that you can purify some of those things that don't work. And you have sacred ecosystem as well. So this purification could be in your environment. Um, if you've lost a job, again, it could be fated that it wasn't aligned with you and you resisted quitting it yourself. And so the universe kind of steps in and goes, you know what? No, this is not for you. You need to purify and get out of that ecosystem because it's not good for you. It's creating blockages. It's lessening your vital force energy. It's, you know, disempowering you at soul level. So that could be part of this as well. This could also be an indication to kind of clean up your environment, you know, clean your home, purify your home, make sure that there's no mold or asbestos in the walls, make sure that the energy in your home is cleared and tended to. If you need a property clearing, I do those um, using the Akashic Records. We look into the location uh, that you live so long as you pay for it, you know, renting or owning, there has to be ownership there, but we can look into the property and see if there's anything that needs to be cleared energetically speaking okay you got what else here Ooh, ooh, yeah the vision and spiritual connection so these are both third eye type energies so you guys are tuning into the uh you know the the clearer vision again that's that that sun energy that clear vision is going to come in you're going to have an understanding of what these patterns were and why they're not serving you so trust your inner vision trust your your clairvoyant abilities libra if you have access to them if you'd like to know how to awaken them there's tons of ways to do it um, meditating is one of the most profound and simplest and freest ways to do it so i highly recommend that if you if you're not into it already but awakening your third eye is going to help to purify some of this stuff and see it for what it really is that's that storm wisdom that you're going to get so, you know it's like when you're in the eye of the storm you're going to see everything clearly and then you'll know how to get out of it. And goodwill, goddess Gaia and ocean Jasper, goodwill. So have goodwill and, you know, it's like, um, what's this quote that's coming through? Goodwill be done to others that is, as it is done unto you. I don't know if that's at all correct, but the, the concept or the idea is that when you have good intentions or goodwill towards others, that's the energy that you're going to get mirrored back to you, predominantly speaking. So make sure that your intentions are good, um, that your vision is clear, that you're clearing your, your energy body, your physical home, you know, purify your body, maybe do a cleanse this month, um, maybe get your energy healed. I do clairvoyant Reiki for that purpose, and I also do soul realignment Akashic readings as well to tap into your soul blueprint. Get to know who you are at soul level, what your gifts are, where you're from, uh, manifestation, all that stuff. And then we clear karmic patterns that are holding you back and limiting your vital force energy. So let's see if there's anything that want to, wants to come through from the Moonology deck. But yeah, wow, this seems like a really big month for you, Libra. Uh, it's going to be a little bit intense, but not in a bad way. I think that it might be a little uncomfortable you know, but it's going to be necessary. And this is very, you know, eclipse season type of vibes. Eclipse season really can shake things up. It's like if we aren't where we need to be, then fate steps in and says, you know what, 
you're going to get moved to a different location or you're going to lose this job or you're going to end this toxic relationship or you know it's like it, it kind of takes it out of your hands and says you know nope this isn't for you okay Well, you have the energy is gaining momentum, which is the waxing moon. So yeah, this energy is picking up speed already. Whenever you're watching this, it's in divine timing. So um, this energy is picking up speed and it's coming. It's coming. Oh, beautiful. Full moon in Virgo. You are good enough, Libra. You are good enough. You are more than enough. You don't have to prove your worth. You don't have to prove your value through your actions or anything like that. It's just focusing on the goodwill within you, in your, your soul, in your heart, and connecting to your, your value that you have that's untarnishable, unchangeable, and completely uh, priceless that's that like inner child energy going back to your inner child there could be some opportunity here for some inner child healing you know doing some shadow work tapping into some trauma from the past things that may be showing up now as karmic cycles or patterns of choice or defense mechanisms or coping mechanisms that are disempowering to you you know, those are survival responses. Those are adaptive responses that we we learn in childhood to get through difficult times. But if we allow them to continue when we're no longer in those types of situations, it can be really disempowering. So it can keep you stuck. You know, avoidance, perfectionism, codependency, all of those types of things. And I work with that a lot with clients. Um, so, uh, yeah, you are good enough, Virgo. There's really so much beauty within you and uh, it's just going to be about purifying and getting rid of anything that is not in alignment with that that is not in alignment with this goodwill that you hold within your heart um, the energy is on your side it's going to support you in this cleansing in this clearing in this detoxification so open your third eye tune into that internal realm take the focus off of the external so much you know with like work or chores or things like that if you can try to focus more so on the internal realms this month because that's going to help you get to this queen of wands energy and this healing that's going to happen so if this is physical level purification again the potential outcome is for physical healing here with the sun card so take stock in this energy use it to your greatest benefit for your greatest and highest good and hopefully this will support you going through the month of june so hopefully this reading resonated guys if it didn't again go check your your moon and rising sign as well um, or watch it again at the end of the month and uh, if it did let me know how it resonated in the comments below what's going on in your situation i love to hear from you guys thank you so much for watching if you'd like to book a reading with me or a healing session all of the information will be in the description box below this video you can email me at services2 and at gmail.com to book a reading or a session much love guys many blessings in june and we will see you next month bye